a very warm welcome to one and all to this Facebook live session on the topic Masters and Bachelors Level Programs of IGNO. On behalf of all at IGNO Regional Center Cochin, myself, Dr. Prasita Unnikrishnan, Assistant Director, warmly welcome each one of you to this Facebook live session. In fact, the session is being conducted as a part of a series of promotional initiatives which have been undertaken by IGNO Regional Center Cochin to reach out to the prospective learners for the July 2022 admission cycle. As you all may be knowing, the July 2022 admission cycle is presently ongoing and the last date has been extended till 20th of October 2022. So this uh, Facebook live session would be specially focusing on the master's and bachelor's level programs of IGNO, which are on offer at IGNO for the prospective learners. I would also be giving you a brief idea about IGNO as a university and how you can enroll for these programs. Indira Gandhi National Open University is a central university which was established in the year 1985 in an effort to democratize higher education and to take education to the doorstep of the learners. In fact, reaching out to the unreached is the vision and mission of IGNO. IGNO has very recently been also been accredited, accredited with NAC A++ and also awarded the Center of Excellence and Excellence for Distance Education Materials by the Commonwealth of Learning. So what are the objectives of IGNO? In fact, the objectives of IGNO is to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learners, to provide access to high quality education to all those who seek it, irrespective of age, religion, re region, and gender. In fact, we say that in IGNO, we do not have any age bar. Any prospective learners having minimum 18 years can apply to any of the programs of IGNO. In fact, there is no age limit to study at IGNO. IGNO also offers various need-based pro academic programs by giving professional and vocational orientation to the courses and to promote and develop distance education in India. So what are the prominent features of IGNO? IGNO has a national jurisdiction with an international presence. We have our regional centers and study centers all over India and also even abroad. So any student all over India who is interested in any of the programs of IGNO has the flexibility to offer, uh, has the flexibility to uh, apply to any of the regional centers uh, which are available all over India. IGNO also has flexible admission rules. As I said, there is no age limit in applying for any of the programs of IGNO. A person who is minimum 18 years age and maximum of any age can apply to any of the programs of IGNO. The programs of IGNO are offered in compliance to NEP 2020. As far as the guidelines of IGNO are concerned, we have individualized study and the flexibility in terms of place, space, and duration of study. Supposing a student who has uh, taken admission at IGNO Renal Center Kuchit, and supposing due to some job commitments, he get transferred to any Bangalore or even Kashmir, uh, then also he has the flexibility to take a transfer uh, to the uh, region where he's working and thus continue with his studies. So that is the flexibility which IGNO offers. IGNO also uses latest information and communication technologies like we have the Gyan Darshan uh, channel. We also have the Swayam Prabha through which our uh, counseling services are also offered live online. We have nationwide student support services. Our programs are cost effective. We have a modular approach to our programs wherein the programs follow the multidisciplinary and interdisciplinary approach. Modular approach means presently the modular approach is applicable to the undergraduate programs, wherein if a student applies for any of the undergraduate programs of IGNO, after one year, and supposing he uh, want to discontinue with the program, after one year, he would get the certificate degree, certificate UG degree. Supposing after uh, doing two years of UG program, he wants to discontinue with that program, he would be awarded a diploma in, UG, uh, in the UG program. And supposing he completes the three years, 
he would be awarded the graduation degree. So this is a new uh, entry exit option which has been introduced by the IGNO recently. A notification to that effect is also available on the IGNO website. So prospective students who want to apply to any of the UG programs of IGNO can avail this benefit which is available with effect from the July 2022 admission cycle. IGNO also has resource sharing, collaboration and networking with conventional universities, open universities and other institutions and organizations. We also have socially and academically relevant programs based on students need analysis and convergence of open and educational convention systems. So what are the achievements of IGNO? IGNO is the first open university in the country to have it accredited with the highest A++ grade by NAC. With the emergence, uh, IGNO has also emerged to be the largest central open university in the world and has been recognized as a center of excellence in distance education by the Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1993. IGNO was also awarded the Award of Excellence for Distance Education Material by Commonwealth of Learning in the year 1999. And IGNO also has launched a series of 24 hours educational channels called the Gyan Darshan. IGNO is the nodal agency for these channels and regular transmissions are done from the studios at EMPC, that is the Electronic Media Production Center, which is situated at IGNO headquarter, Delhi. The regular educational broadcast with facility for live interaction, IGNO has been also entrusted with the responsibility of the National Coordinator for the Swayam Prabha project for four channels, that is channel 17 to channel 20. So you can also take benefit of all these uh, facilities which are of IGNO and these channels are broadcasting the recorded videos as well as live telecasting of IGNO programs on a 24 by 7 basis. UNESCO has also declared IGNO as the largest institution of higher learning in the world in the year 2010. IGNO also has the largest network of learning supporting system wherein our declaration of terminal results are done within 45 days. So how IGNO supports our students? We have our academic programs which are being offered through various regional centers which are being spread across Kerala. In Kerala, Cochin Regional Center uh, is, uh, is the first established regional center in Kerala. Next, the Trivandrum Regional Center was established and third, the Vadagara Regional Center was established. IGNO Regional Center Cochin was established in the year 1988 and caters to basically six districts and one union territory, which is Ernakulam, Trishur, Palakkad, Kottayam, Idiki, Alapura and the union territory of Lakshwati. So as I said earlier, this promotional life this session is basically focusing on IGNO admissions which are open presently for the July 2022 admission cycle. As such, IGNO admissions are there in two cycles. One is the July session and second is the January session. So presently, a student who, want, who is interested in taking admission to IGNO can apply for the July admission cycle. And the last date is 20th of October 2022. So how you can apply to IGNO ODL programs? IGNO uh, not only there are ODL programs on offer, there are also online programs on offer. So there is a difference between ODL, ODL programs and online programs. Uh, for applying to the open and distance learning programs of IGNO, you should visit the IGNO website and go to register online and click on fresh admissions. You can also visit through the link https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. So basically, I'm just showing the screenshot on how one can apply to IGNO. This is the IGNO website, www.igno.ac.in. Kindly go to the fresh admission, which is uh, given in the black and uh, left hand side third, third column. You can click on the third option, that is a uh, second option, that is fresh admissions. Once you click on fresh admissions, this is the screenshot which opens. You can kindly create your login ID and password and just take a scan copy of all the required documents and apply to any of the programs of IGNO online.
if you want to if you are interested in applying for the various online programs of igno which are on offer you can go to this uh, link https-ignoiop.samarth.edu.in and you can apply for any of the online programs of igno so when you log into this website through the link https-ignoiop.samarth.edu.in there is something called program information once you click on the program information, you get all the details about the program which you are interested, like how many subjects you would be covering, what is the fee structure, what is the duration of that program. All this information is made available uh, as per the screenshot on the program information. The flexibility which IGNO offers to the students is basically about the minimum and maximum duration. A certificate program, if supposing a student applies for any of the certificate programs of IGNO, the minimum duration is six months and the maximum duration is two years. Similarly, if a student applies for any of the diploma programs, the minimum duration is one year and the maximum the student gets to complete his or her diploma program is two years. Similarly, for a bachelor's degree program, supposing if you are taking admission to any of the bachelor's degree program, you, ha you have the flexibility to complete this program in a maximum duration of six years. Similarly, for a master's degree program, you have the option to complete your program in a maximum duration of four years. So now I'm going to uh, tell you about the bachelor's degree programs which are on offer at IGNO. Uh, the admissions for which are presently ongoing. Uh, we have the Bachelor of Arts program, that is the BAG program. Our Bachelor's degree, is uh, degree program is based on choice-based credit system. And then we have the Bachelor of Commerce, BCom G program. Bachelor of Commerce with major in corporate affairs and administration, that is the BCom CAA. <laughs> Bachelor of Commerce with major in Financial and Cost Accounting. Bachelor of Business Administration, that is BBA SM. Bachelor of Science uh, G, that is BSc General. Bachelor of Computer Applications, that is BCA. Bachelor of Library and Information Sciences, that is the BLIS. For those students who are interested in the library sector, library field, then you, for those students who are interested in tourism sector, they can opt for the Bachelor of Arts Tourism Studies, that is the BTS program. Then you have the Social Work program, that is the Bachelor of Social Work program. For those students who are, who are interested in making a career in social work field, especially who, who are interested in working for the NGOs, corporate sector, etc., they can opt for the Bachelor of Social Work program. Then you have the Bachelor of Business Administration and Retailing, that is the BBARL program. Then you have the Bachelor of Arts Vocational Studies Tourism Management, that is the BABTM program. Uh, then you have the Bachelor of Arts Vocational Studies Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises program, Bachelor of Arts Honors in Economics program, Bachelor of Arts Honors History program. Bachelor of Arts uh, Honors in Political Science, that is Honors programs are available in Economics, History, Political Science, Psychology, Public Administration, Sociology, English, Hindi, Sanskrit and Urdu. And Bachelor of Science Honors program is available in Anthropology, Biochemistry. Then you have the Bachelor of Arts, Performing Arts, uh, that is the Hindustani Music Honors. So these are some of the bachelor programs which are on offer at IGNO. There are around 26 programs, undergraduate programs, which are on offer at IGNO. And I'm sure the students who are viewing this session would find it informative to join for any of the UG programs which are on offer at IGNO. <coughs> then you have the master's degree programs. Uh, there are various master's degree programs on offer in various fields like the Master of Commerce, that is the MCOM program, which is also one of the very popular programs of IGNO, I must say. Then you have the Master of Commerce in Finance and Taxation, Master of Commerce in Business Policy and Corporate Governance, Master of Business Administration, Master of Business Administration Financial Management, Master of Business Administration Operations Management, Masters of Business Administration, Marketing Management, Master of Business Administration, Banking and Finance. Then you have the Master of Arts in English, 
Master of Arts in Hindi, Political Science, History, Sociology, Psychology. In fact, MA Psychology is one of the very popular programs at IGNO Regional Center Cochin, wherein a large number of students do enroll for this program. Then you have the Master of Arts in Economics, Master of Arts in Public Administration, Master of Library and Information Sciences, Master of Arts in Anthropology, Master of Arts in Gandhi and Peace Studies. Uh, you have the MCA program that is a Master of Computer Application. This is a newly, uh, newly revamped program that is the syllabus has been upgraded and uh, presently the, it's been on offer. Then you have the Master of Arts that is Rural Development, Master of Science, Food and Nutrition, Another very popular program of IGNO that is the Master of Science Food and Nutrition, Master of Science Counseling and Family Therapy, Master of Social Work. Also a very popular program of IGNO, Master of Arts Distance Education, Master of Arts in Education, Master of Arts in Adult Education. For those who are interested in tourism and travel industries, they can offer the Master of Tourism and Travel Management. For those interested in philosophy field, they can offer for Master of Arts in Philosophy those who are interested in development studies can opt for master of arts in development studies they can also opt for master of arts co corporate social responsibility master of arts urban studies master of arts women and gender studies master of arts gender and development studies master of arts translation studies master of arts journalism and mass communication master of arts in sanskrit master of arts in urdu and master of arts in jyotish master of arts in uh, Hindi, Vyasaik, Lekhan, Master of Arts in Vedic Studies. Something, this is a newly launched program, I must say, Master of Arts in Vedic Studies. Then you have the MSc Food Safety and Quality Management, MSc Environmental Science, Master of Arts in Folklore and Culture Studies, Master of Arts in Environmental and Occupational Health, Master of Arts in Sustainability Science, Master of Arts in Drawing and Painting, Master of Science, that is Information Security, Master of Arts in Entrepreneurship, Master of Science in Renewable Energy and Environment. It's a newly launched program and Master of Arts in Arabic. So these are some of the uh, master's levels and UG level programs which are presently on offer at IGNO. And I'm sure after uh, going through this list of programs, there may be students who, are may, who may be interested in a particular field because our programs are basically skill-based and any student uh, who is presently working or who wants to upgrade his knowledge or who, who wants to have a better job prospects uh, can apply for any of the UG and PG programs of IGNO. The last date is fast approaching and the last date is 20th of October. I'm sure uh, with a firm belief in yourself, the students interested or the prospective students uh, who are viewing this session can definitely apply uh, for this, any of the IGNO programs, you can again note down our admission link through which you can apply to the programs of IGNO that is https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in. In case the viewers have any doubts uh, pertaining to the admissions or anything pertaining to the session which has been taken, please feel free to contact us at rccochin at the rate igno.ac.in and we would be assisting you in any of the doubts and clarifications you are having. I would also like to uh, request all of you who are watching this session to kindly uh, follow our Facebook page, http www.facebook.com slash igno regional center coaching. Also follow us on Twitter, that is https twitter.com slash igno rc coaching. We also have a YouTube channel of rc coaching wherein our all promotional videos and anything related to IGNO is being uploaded on uh, on this channel frequently. So latest updates you will also be getting through our YouTube channel of RC Kuchin. Request all viewers to kindly subscribe to this game. And we also have the IGNO website and uh, that is www.igno.ac.in wherein, wherein you get the latest updates uh, pertaining to IGNO. You can also visit our regional center coaching website uh, through which also our latest updates are being updated that is httprcoaching.igno.ac.in once again i have mentioned the link for the online admissions that is https ignoadmission.samarth.edu.in so these are some of the basic information which i felt 
uh, we have already shared this information in many of the Facebook live sessions done before, but still I felt it is pertinent to again uh, mention all those informations for the benefit of those we are viewing for the first time. So thank you all for watching this Facebook live session. I am sure uh, with this session, you would have got an idea about the UG and master's level programs which are on offer at IGNO. And our last date is 20th of October 2022. Request all to kindly enroll for any of the programs uh, which are on offer at IGNO so as to enhance your career prospects. Thank you all once again for listening to me patiently. Thank you.